yeah as y'all can see this oil is really black it was definitely time for a change don't be talking like a drug nigga and so fast man my shot is never bug nigga he be talking what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel i would like to welcome you into our ttg family now before we get started i need y'all to do me a favor turn y'all phone up straight click that like button then once you do that subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell all it don't cost you nothing it's free then once you're done doing all that watch this video all the way to the end where you'll see my end screen pop up then my last video i posted will pop up click on the last video i posted Hit the like button on that video, you feel me, and do the same thing. And rock out and enjoy the content that I'm posting. Now, this video, we will be doing a smaller tune-up on the charger. Now, it's been... Trying to say about six months, seven months. So, I think it's time to go ahead and do an oil change on this car. So, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be changing the oil in my charger. It needs it because I drive this car every day. I don't get on the highway much with this car. If I do, it like 20 minutes. You feel me? Because this car don't do so hot on the interstate. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. But it's my daily. My only daily I have right now. And the only car I can just get in and start up and then to go. So I rock out with, with what I got. You feel me? So can't really do too much complaining about what I got. So yeah. That's all, it is. That's all it is really we're just gonna be changing the oil on this car and it shouldn't be too too long it should be pretty fairly quick now the next video is gonna be something different something I, i'm excited to do and it ain't too hot so i'm trying to do all this fast and get all this done quick so my other camera don't overheat and i kind of gave y'all a little hint by saying i got an extra camera about what the next video gonna be but y'all just gotta stay tuned i ain't gonna say nothing about it i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna keep it a secret until y'all see the video so y'all just stay tuned man y'all stay tuned because like i said i don't want to say too much because i don't want to give it away but i definitely need y'all to stay tuned for the next video the next video gonna be something really dope something i ain't never done something i think is gonna be a little different than i'm bringing to the channel a lot of car you car content creators do these type of videos so i feel like I'm not go ahead and try to explore some you feel me but yeah man that's all we're gonna be doing in this video is just changing the oil I hope y'all stick to the end like I said stick to the end and click on the last video I posted hit the like button on that video and then click the like button on this video too it's free it don't cost you nothing and it helps us helps the channel grow more you feel me the more likes we get on the video the more views we get then the more subscribers we can get then the more we can start doing you feel me so yeah but I'm gonna catch y'all in a second once I get outside. I gotta pop the hood, then I need to drive the car on the ramp, but I don't think I'm gonna drive the car on the ramp just yet. I'm gonna show y'all what we what we working with, then we're gonna drive the car up on the ramp. So yeah, y'all stick tuned, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell to all the way. I'll be notified every time I drop and I catch y'all as soon as I get outside the car. Alright y'all, so the sun not really in my favor right now, but which is fine because it feel pretty good. But yeah, this is my little V6. I don't know if i told y'all but i want to do once this motor go bad i'm not going to touch into this motor go bad but i want to end up doing a ls swap i don't think i ever seen an ls swap on a charger on this year model anyway so yeah don't make fun of my in coder intake i done had this owner for a while i ain't gonna lie over a year over a year and a half actually but yeah, I was supposed to end up going to a fabricator so he can give me a pole that go out and come right here so I can finish getting the rest of the the, the box and stuff that you see in like most Hellcats and scat packs and stuff. But it's been working, so I just really left it because I can't find a fabricator to give me a pole. I mean, I could probably order one. I ain't think about it, but you feel me? It's connected to the throttle body really good. And... It ain't gave me no codes or nothing, so I've just been rocking out with it. It ain't messed nothing up. It ain't tore nothing up. Everything's been good. So, yeah, this is the oil we got. They didn't have pins oil, so I just had to rock out with what they had. And then my filter. So, like I said, we're going to be changing the oil. I got to drive the car up on the ramps. Throw the oil thing under there. What I can go ahead and do now is take off this oil cap there y'all seen me start so 
That's all I gotta do. And I know this gonna be hot because I just got done driving my car. Let's see if my oil low. Nope, my oil's not even low, it's just dark. So yeah, I need it. I need this change because it's like I said, it's dark and I know it's time. And yeah, like I said, I, I know my oil ain't low. Uh, but my oil light did pop off. It like flashed on and cut off. So it was like a week ago. Flashed on and cut off. I got out and checked the oil. It wasn't low. It's just dark and it's time to change it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and change the oil in this. I'll come back to y'all once I got the car up on. Y'all can't even see me. I'll come back to y'all once I got the car up on the ramp. And yeah, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn the post notification bell to all the way. I'll be notified every time I drop. And yeah, let me let me get the car pulled up on the ramp. I need a little air in my tire. Y'all can't really see. It's a little low. It ain't too too low though. But yeah, let me get the car up on the ramps. And I'm gonna come right back to y'all. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, I got the car up on the ramp. And once I change it, I put my cap back on. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it back off again. But once we finish this, one thing I need to do is make sure all my fluids is topped. So I'm gonna have to go to the store, give me some more coolant. Uh, power steering fluid should be good. Yeah, power steering is full. My brake fluid is full. I know that I checked it already, but like I said, I need to get, I need to get some more. Um, I just lost my train of thought. I need to get some more antifreeze. So I can fill up the reservoir back up. And my washer fluid, I mean, it ain't low, but I could throw a little extra in there. Give me some more washer fluid. So I'm going to have to go to the store so I can, yeah, so I can give me some fluid because I want to make sure everything is topped off when, or when I get finished. So hands are already getting dirty. I need to go ahead and put my gloves on. But y'all can see, got the oil pan down there. So y'all right here really fast while I throw well, I throw my gloves on I gotta take this watch off I'll go ahead and throw my gloves on because I don't want oil all on my hands because it takes a lot of scrubbing to get the oil off or the oil grease anyways where it ain't my hands ain't super slick and these gloves tight these gloves is tight y'all goodness well I ripped it all around I knew it was coming that's why I was trying to look gentle but it'll be alright so the bolt under my charger is a 13. I don't have no shorter one, so I'm just gonna have to rock out with this one. And then I'm not gonna really need this because you're supposed to do a hand tighten anyways. But I, I used this last time anyways to grip the oil filter off. And then we got our new oil filter. And then we got our oil. And then I got two oil pans. So one pan there. One more here. This one brand new, so this one ain't never been used. But I'm gonna use it anyways when I pull out the filter. So let's go ahead and get under the car and then we can pull. So we can pull the the oil drain plug off. Let y'all see me in action. Mm. That's why I needed a shorter plug. Make sure y'all can see. Mm. 
No, I was right. Goodness. And I'm the last person who changed my oil, so it's all on me. Let me go ahead and get this plug out, then I'm going to come back to y'all and let y'all see what's going on. So, yeah, give me one second to try and get this out. All right, y'all, so got the drain plug out. Let's go ahead and put y'all back under here. Well, I ain't taking it all the way off yet because I'm going to let y'all Let's see how dirty I get. So, try to go from this angle. Man, it don't look like ain't no oil in here. Okay. Yeah, as y'all can see, this oil is really black. It was definitely time for a change. Once it finished, I'm gonna let y'all see how dark the oil is. It was low. Look at this, it's low. I'm getting the oil all on my hands. All right, so now what I need to do is take off this filter, which shouldn't be too, too hard. But I need to change my gloves too, because my gloves is dirty. this on there because my hands keep slipping. And I gotta change these gloves. My hands keep slipping. I got this filter puller all filthy. So yeah let me go ahead and take this glove off so I don't get my camera dirty. So, yeah, y'all let me go ahead and pull this off. Then once I pull that off, I'm going to come back to y'all again. Look at this, ripping my glove because I can't get a grip. Rip through my finger. It's cool though. So, let me go ahead and get the, get the oil filter off. Let me see if I can sit y'all up without getting y'all dirty. Something like that. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get that oil filter off, then change my gloves and all that stuff. Then I'm gonna come back to y'all again. But yeah, so far, yeah, my oil was low. Let me go ahead and pull it out for y'all. Hold on. Sit y'all up. Swapped out the I swapped out the pan so it still ain't dripping but look at that look how dark that oil is yeah it was definitely time and it's low so yep need to go ahead and get that done so take this off throw them in there because i gotta dump this so yeah other than that man i'm gonna go ahead and put this one back under there so i don't keep wasting that other pan when it don't need to be wasted. So yeah, like I said, once I get that filter off, I'm gonna come back to y'all again 
then we're gonna refill the car and all that good stuff you feel me make sure we ain't leaking start the car up let it run make sure it ain't leaking then we're gonna get on to it with the next video so y'all stay tuned while i finish this up all right so as y'all can see oops, hold on i'm gonna break my mic as y'all can see we got the filter loosened up because it's dripping oil so I'm gonna let that drip a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off so we can drop it into the oil pan. So, yeah, as y'all can see, oil filter is loosened. Like I said, I just need to change my gloves. So, I went ahead and threw on some gloves that I knew would give me a little more grip. So, that's all I really needed. But while the car is up, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my exhaust system that I got. Well, it ain't really a system because. What I want to still do is cut off my cats. Oh, I almost fell. I still want to cut off my cats. But then again, I won't have nothing to plug my sensor into. So it's going to be a little awkward how I'm going to have y'all. But y'all see my glass pack right there. And then, and I also want to, so it's basically straight pipe. I just got a glass pack right there, a cherry bomb glass pack. But I also want to go ahead and disconnect that right there and make it two exhausts instead of just one. And then y'all see if my cat's still on. So, yeah. So I, I still got my cats on. And it's just one exhaust going all the way to the back. Which I think all the V6s have. Just one exhaust going to the back. But I want to change it. I want to split it off in the middle right there and do two exhaust straight back you feel me and i'm gonna just straight pipe and take that glass pack off too but right now as of right now i'm not gonna do it because my focus right now is putting my money into my box and my cutlass so this this car done I, until i decide to do something different or really until i finish them too once i finish the box and the cutlass then i'll work on like doing some little extra stuff with this one but for now i'm gonna just leave it but yeah that's my plan later on i want to if this motor still running good because i'm almost at 300,000 miles in this i'm at 293 and i got this car when it had 200 and like 210 like right at 200,000 you feel me but the price i got this car for y'all wouldn't believe me so like i said i had to put work into it because i had a salvage title but i didn't pay i'm gonna just say i didn't pay no more than 500 dollars. now y'all can take y'all guess from zero to 500 dollars between there but yeah i didn't pay that much and then i put about 1500 in it to get it get my title and stuff done get it inspected and all that so i had to do body work transmission work so overall i got a i got a really good deal plus i like i said i got this car back in it was as soon as i turned 16 like uh, literally a month after i turned 16 i went and bought this car myself because i wanted to build a car up i didn't want just any car that was already i wanted to actually build a car so like i said I, I bought this car right when i turned 16 so it was in 2017 and it's 2023 and this car been running smooth you feel me running good but yeah so me, i'm getting off track i'm sorry y'all I, I just feel like i could talk to y'all about anything but yeah i got the oil filter loosened it looks like it's done dripping a lot now so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that off then once i get ready to put my new filter on i'm gonna come back to y'all again and then we're gonna throw the oil in the car and all that good stuff so yeah i'll be right back all right y'all so let's go ahead and do the oil filter so the first thing i'm gonna do push y'all back a little bit yeah so what i'm gonna do is lube it up i guess that's the terminology so i gotta crack this open first Crack this open. I ain't got no napkins or nothing. Open this up. P1. Yep, just the right filter. Walmart wouldn't lead you wrong, I would hope. Put a little bit on here just so I can get that ring. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. Just getting this ring right here. 
and I'm forward just a little bit just a little bit up in it might have poured just a little bit too much but it's gonna go through here anyway so make sure I get that ring and then I'm gonna get this black ring here too just to make sure it goes on there really smoothly and easily all right just like it Get out of the way I'm gonna pour the rest of this up top Move back under the car. Go ahead and grab my drain plug. Plug. Well, Ooh. hope I did not drop that in there. Oh, did I? Where's the plug go? Here we go. Yep. Sick. Let me wipe this off again. I don't really care about my hands getting dirty. You feel me? I'm, my hands always get dirty when I help my help my dad work on cars, even if it's like just motor work or just clean anything really that we do with the cars. My hands always get dirty, so I'm used to my hands always getting dirty. I don't. I really don't care. I'm just sick. I dropped it in the oil pan. Let me wipe this off. I don't have any napkins, so I'm doing with what I got. Wipe that off. it for now. Oop, my bad job. Now let's go ahead and put this filter up in there. Try to get the thread on. There you go. And just like it, we're back in the game. Brand new oil filter. And we can have brand new oil in the car. Now when I use the where I put it? Whenever I use this, the filter, the filter tightener or whatever it's called, I don't tighten the filter too too much. I just make sure it's snug enough to where I know it won't leak. So let me move this oil pan. this up one two three four like I'm not gonna tighten it too too much it's just to make sure I won't have no leaks oh, it's still a huge gap Just like that, she's tight. Yep. And then grab my 
ratchet. Turn it so I can tighten it. like that we've done a oil change Ooh. so now I just need to go ahead and put my filter there I'm trying to get y'all to stand up all right just like it put that there and I'm gonna pour it and make sure we ain't leaking This calls for six quarts, one quart here, and then I got the five quart big bottle. Yep, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I know the newer chargers use like seven quarts of oil. Or it might just be the V8s. Because my uncle, he got a 2014, 2012, one of them two years. 2012 or 2014, I had to change his oil like a week ago. Well, a week ago for me recording this video, and I had to put, well, I had to put seven quarts in his car, and he have a 5.7 RT Hemi, so he got a 5.7 Hemi, you feel me, and it calls for seven quarts, and mine takes six. I seen some way on TikTok that people did to where it won't splash, I think it's this way. Yep, like this, and it won't splash you. I seen this on TikTok, so. All right, let me pause, look down here, make sure we ain't leaking. And we're good, ain't no leaks. So I'm gonna check it again once I start it up. I'm gonna look under the car, make sure we're not leaking again. And I still need to grab some napkins so I can check the oil level. Grab some napkins. Keep them on my door. As y'all can see, got a little pack of them. Grab a few out so I can dry off my hands. All right, I'm gonna have to clean my camera after this too because I know I got oil all on my camera, which is one thing I forgot about. My bad. Which is something I forgot about because I forgot I had to grab my camera. I forgot I was doing all that. And I went ahead and got oil all on my hands. I know you can use oil to like get this dust and stuff off. My dad taught me that. Make this look somewhat new. My engine bay need a good cleaning anyways. I just don't really trust myself doing it because I feel like if I do it, I'm end up turning up the motor, getting water all in the motor and everything. So I don't trust myself doing it. But yeah, my engine bay needs to be cleaned. But I need to go ahead and check this dipstick really fast. So sit y'all 
fear. Okay, we're gonna check the dipstick. I'm gonna wipe it off first. Then we're gonna go back in. Pull it on up. Check the oil level. And it's full. I'm gonna do it one more time. Then we're gonna start the car up, make sure we ain't dripping no oil, we ain't leaking. And we should be good to go from there. And we're full. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but we're full with brand new oil. Put that back. Make sure my oil cap is on. And yeah, make sure we're not dripping. Y'all don't see anything, do y'all? No drips. Don't see no drips coming down. Let me check up my oil filter. Make sure ain't nothing dripping on the bottom of the oil filter. And we're clean. No drips here. We're clean. All right. All right, y'all. So I think my camera overheated or something, but it cut off. But yeah, let's go ahead and check and see if everything is full. I can go ahead and move everything out the way too. So let's go ahead and make sure everything good. Go ahead and start up the car. Turn y'all around so y'all I can see y'all. Yep, no drip. Good to go. Just like that, we're good to go. So now I need to come back. And yeah, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm go ahead and shut my car off. I don't like wasting gas, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and dump that, close this up, drop the car back down, clean up my mess, then I'll be back to y'all. So I'll let y'all in a second. All right, y'all, so just like that, man, we changed the oil on the charger. So now the charger should be good to go. I ain't gonna give an estimate because me being honest, I don't I don't know how long, but I always check my oil frequently. Like I said, I need to go and get, go to the store and get some more fluids like my antifreeze and washer fluid so I can top them off, make sure they're full, make sure they're good, make sure the car don't overheat. So I need to go to the store and get that. But the next video, y'all y'all really need to stay tuned. Like I said, it's something special, something I ain't never tried before. Something new, something different. Well, different from me anyways. Because I know a, a lot of other creators been doing this type of videos. And I decided to go ahead and invest in my channel some more. So, yeah, I went ahead and spent a little, little bit of a bag. Not too, too much. Not none too, too crazy. But a couple hundred to get this little setup so I can do something a little different like i said for the channel because i want to keep growing i want to keep elevating so for me to make anything i gotta put more back into it you feel me so like i said i ain't i ain't made nothing off this yet so until then we're gonna keep grinding so hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell on all that way i'll be notified every time i drop i really don't know how long this video is might be a little bit longer than what i expected but at least we got my oil done so that's all i really needed to do like i said i try to do all my own work instead of sending it to shops to where it'll sit i know i can go to like valvoline and stuff but me being honest i trust myself more than i trust anybody so i'd rather learn and fail than send it to a shop and not know what to do if something go wrong again and my car just sits so yeah like i said i appreciate y'all for tuning in it's gonna be the end of this one stay tuned for the next video something special it's going to be it for this one. I'll catch y'all in the next one.